Okay, so today we're going to be talking about um, videos, behind the scenes stuff. We're gonna talk about me um, planning videos, filming them, Corey editing them. If you don't know, my husband edits my videos for me now. And, uh, and then all the background behind the scenes stuff. I got an email from a subscriber recently asking for me to do a behind the scenes because uh, I don't know, they wanted to know some of the technical stuff as well as now that Corey helps me with my videos, what that dynamic looks like. So sure. But before we get into all that, an ad from Skillshare. Hey guys, it's Murphy here to talk to you about, oh, oh shoot, I, uh, ah, I did it again. Ah uh, shucks. You filmed a whole video with the camera turned in the wrong direction. It's normal. We've all been there. Filming videos is hard. Doing it by yourself is even harder but Skillshare can help with that. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes where you could explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your creativity. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life and all the circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce you to a community of millions. Not sure how to set up lighting? What framing is going to actually work for your videos? Skillshare has classes for that, like this one. How to film solo without the FOMO. Filmmaking tricks for the one person crew. And there are no ads, they're constantly launching, launching new classes, and premium membership is less than $10 a month. So check out the link in my description because the first thousand people to use it will get a free trial for premium membership. So don't be a dummy, check out Skillshare today. Starting with my planning out the videos. So I film videos two days a week and each day that I film, I film two videos that day, four videos a week, math. So in between my filming days, I'm always constantly thinking about the channel and about what I wanna do next and uh, what, what video ideas I have in mind. So I'm always trying to brainstorm and uh, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a good planner trying to do better. <laughs> so I, I'm not a very scripted person. You may be able to tell. I usually have a video idea and then maybe a paper with some bullet points that I can kind of go off of to keep myself a little bit on track. And then I just sit down and hang out and chat. Uh, it, it, I find that I am much less articulate if I try to script my videos because then I just don't feel natural. I feel like I'm reading a script which feels robotic, which I don't like. So I typically don't script things out very much unless I'm doing something where, something like the Dear Author series, uh, I'll, have to look at a lot of things before I can actually do the video, but those are pretty much the only videos where I have much of a script and even then it's pretty loose. So instead I'll usually just come up with an idea, uh, go over that idea a couple times in my head as if I'm filming it in my head, pick out my favorite things that I've come up with as basic talking points, write myself a couple bullet points, which I didn't even do for this video, <laughs> and uh, and then just sit down and start chatting. Reviews are probably the easiest videos I do. I just read the book and then I'm usually exploding with wanting to talk about it. So I'll just sit down in front of the camera and start yelling. There are times where I do, uh, I, well, I've only recently started, where I will uh, come up with a basic idea, basically what I want to say, what I want to articulate, and then I'll throw it all in a Google Doc. And then just recently I've started now where I'll put that Google Doc on my Patreon <laughs> and let my patrons, uh, well, not let, ask, and thankfully they do. <laughs> Several of my patrons will come on and write notes in there as well. And it'll be kind of a team effort and we'll plan the video together. That's something recently that I've started doing. I did it with the uh, tropes video that I, it may come out before this one. It may come out directly after this one. These two will be side by side. So it'll come soon if it's not here already. But like I said, that's a recent thing that I've started doing and I love it because it's awesome to have other people's input and uh, it, it makes my videos better.
So as far as all the technical things go, uh, for the camera, we use the Panasonic Lumix G7 that we bought like four years ago used. And the lens we use to do all of our talking heads is the Panasonic 25 millimeter 1.7. And as for audio, we record that separately from the camera. We boom a shotgun mic above her just out of frame, as you can see here. And the microphone we use is the Audio-Technica AT875R. And from there, we run an XLR cable into an interface, a dedicated audio interface, which is the Audient ID4. And then we run that into a laptop and just use GarageBand to record the audio. As for the lights, we just use two uh, big softbox lights. They're fairly cheap. I think we got them on Amazon three or four years ago. And to light specifically the bookshelves, we use two kind of cheap LED lights that use a battery. Okay, so after the filming is done, then I pass everything on to Corey. He has to take the video, video footage and align the audio. As often as I can, I try to make my videos have B-roll so that they're more visually appealing. He does most of the B-roll that we do and he overlays that, puts it in, has his own stylistic flair. Any kind of text overlays he usually does. Um, and then anytime I mention another creator, he'll usually go to their channel, put them in. If it's Daniel, he'll try to find the most atrocious image he can to put in there. And just generally, he does the bulk of the editing. After he's done with his side of things, he then passes the video back to me. So I watch the video back, I'll cut sections of the video where I kind of just repeat myself or ramble or say something wrong. I may also add a couple little editing things, some text overlays, something, sometimes a voiceover if I need to add something after the fact. I'll add that stuff at the end and then I do the memes at the end of the videos. So many people give Corey credit for that and I am here to set the record straight. That is me. And then I also do the thumbnails. Uh, I'm not very good at it, but I do them. Actually, realistically, that's also a team effort because Corey will cut me out of the thumbnail and send it to me and then I'll do the rest. And then you have all the back end stuff, the stuff that really affects you guys that you oftentimes praise my videos for. That's all Corey. He does the timestamps, he does the affiliate links. Anytime something is mentioned and needs to be linked, that's him. Uh, closed captioning is on most of my videos. We've gotten a little bit behind because of the whole ice storm, losing our power, we got behind schedule on filming, but uh, all that happens he does the closed captioning. He, oh, he, do, he makes my channel so much better. Or I guess I should say, because it's the two of us working together, we have time to make my channel so much better because it's not all on one person. And everything that you see has been done for about a week. <laughs> um, from the time that I start planning the video to the time that you guys see it, it's usually a week to a week and a half. Um, by the time we get the video uploaded, then we put it up on my Patreon for early access. People have a few days to watch it and comment and whatever they wanna do until it goes live on my channel. So yeah, the, the videos that you see are almost always about a week old. We don't usually do very fast turnaround, but it works for us. So there you go. There's some behind the scenes information for my channel, how videos get conceptualized and then made. We're certainly not the best content creators out there, but we do this. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I'd love to chat with you more in the comments. Also be sure to check out Skillshare in the description of this video. I post videos every Tuesday through Saturday. Nope, Tuesday through Friday. I'll see you guys again soon. <laughs>